Day was a hard fought game out there. Take us through. Yeah, um, I guess the fundamentals were really strong tonight. I think across the board we had really good buying and really good effort from the entire group. Um, we probably let, well, not probably, we let ourselves down with some of our execution um, uh, going forward. But I think the fundamentals were good and really strong. Could have, would it down five goals at quarter time? It could have been a, a bit close if we took our opportunities, but it's good to see the boys fight back from. Yeah, ultimately all the way through, we were saying the scoreboard wasn't really a true reflection. West Coast were really good going forward and made the most of their opportunities and got some really good goals and easy goals out the back on us, which was really frustrating. Uh, but on our end going forward, we had missed quite a lot of um, you know, relatively simple shots. So um, all night, it didn't feel like the scoreboard was a true representation about how the game was going. So um, in that sense, we were really buoyed to you know, continue on with our effort and try and execute as best we could. How did you find the battle in the midfield? Yeah, they got a lot of talent going through there and um, they threw a few tricks at us tonight, which was good to um, kind of see firsthand and I thought we handled it quite well. Um, oh yeah, obviously, there was a bit of noise around um, Gaff getting a bit of the ball and all that kind of stuff, but I thought we certainly had our own. It's a great learning experience for our young midfielders who are, who are getting there. Yeah, absolutely. I think the end of last week's game and this game this week, um, now we've seen the onus really um, spread across the group a little bit more with Nat going down and uh, Andy Brayshaw going through in, in particular has really stepped up his game and um, it's probably not showing um, so much yet, but I think his effort around the ball and, his con and the contest has um, really not uh, taken a step up, which is great. Big blow losing Joel Handling early, but the defence did such a great job to make sure that that didn't really impact the game. Yeah, it took a little bit of reshuffling in, um, back there, but yeah, as you mentioned, the, our back six in particular um, were really good um, again. Um, yeah, but that's a whole system thing. And I thought across the board, our effort and our um, mechanics around our game plan were really strong. Um, but as I mentioned, the skill execution going forward um, and you know, lacking a little bit of composure at times is what hurt us. Sam and Lockie came in and, and really gave something to the team. Who? Sam and Lockie. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. No, their first names, we don't call them that. <laughs> um, yeah, we know that what they bring and um, you know, they're two little tenacious guys and um, I actually burnt Lockie so I feel really bad. He probably should have kicked a goal early. But um, yeah, their energy and their effort all night was really first class and um, it's, it was really great to see. Hopefully they can get a little bit of continuity now, especially um, Switter, who has obviously missed a little bit through injury. Um, yeah, but they were great tonight. Another really big test next week against UWS. Absolutely, yeah. We uh, haven't really looked forward to that one just yet, but um, yeah, we know what kind of side GWS is. They've got talent across every line, um, really high-end talent, so it's going to be a great challenge. And um, yeah, we played at Canberra, I think, last year, and it's a bit of a tricky ground as well to play at. So uh, I think it'll be a really good ch check about how we're going um, as a club and as a football team, and especially on the back of that travel component. Well played today. Thanks, Seth. Thank you.